Hey everybody, it's Craig Becker here, and in this video, we're going to do a quick tutorial on Capture One 12's new radial gradient tool. So for those of you who don't know how to access that, if you come up to gradient, you'll see how this one looks a little round. And if you look over here, you'll see how that looks round as well. Now, if you're having trouble, all you have to do is a long click on that and hold it. And now you can see that we have draw linear gradient mask G, and the shortcut for the round one is draw radial gradient mask T. So the T, weird. I would have thought it would have been like R or something, but it's T. So the R must have been used for something else. So if you want to just go to that quickly, just hit T on your keyboard or come down over here and hold, click and hold. You'll see it right there. Draw radial gradient mask T or at the top here, click and hold, draw radial gradient mask. So if you're trying to click on this little arrow here and you have problems, that's probably why. Click and hold. So I had the same problem. I'm just going to hit T for a shortcut. Now you can see in the middle here, this is a raw image right out of camera. You can see the light stand here. What I'm going to do is create a bit of a vignette. So I'm going to click here with my radial gradient tool. I'm going to drag it. Now you can see how it looks kind of odd. So if you want to change the shape uniformly, if you hold the shift key and you drag out, that's uniform, sort of, you can control it that way. But if you let go of that, you could see how it kind of makes it rounder. And then again, if I hold the option key or the alt key on the PC, you can see how that sort of stretches it out a bit. So depending on how you want to do that, just keep in mind the tools are shift, and then you look at these little circles, or option. Play around with those settings. Now you can't see what's going to happen right now. If I hit the M key, you can see the mask. So that's the M as in mic on your keyboard. And now you can adjust this where you want the gradient to fall. Now I think it's okay at the top, but I want it a little longer at the bottom. Now if I drag this, you can see how the shape changes. If you're okay with that, then that's fine. If you don't like the way that looks, hold the shift key and then you see the whole circle gets bigger. And again, if you hold the option key, you can see how you can kind of drag that down. So really just play around with these settings. Just keep in mind shift and option and dragging. And like I said, M as in mic toggles that mask on and off. Now you can see we have a new layer up here at the top where it says layer one. Now I can just drag my exposure slider and you can see how that's happening. If I hit the M key as in mic, you can see the area affected. So that's a little bit drastic. I just want to show you how that works, but you can create a real subtle vignette on this. Now you can see that's blowing it out. It's the opposite. So I think I'll just go down just a tiny bit. So it's not really noticeable. Now again, the M key toggles that off. Now if you wanted to invert that mask, you just right click on the layer. You click on invert mask. Now you can see there's a dark spot in the center. So again here, I'm just going to right click and we're going to go back and that's what it is. Now I see that I think it can go maybe, I don't know, let's go about minus 15. So very, well, minus 19. So very subtle gradient. It's a radial gradient tool. You can access it from here. You can see I'm on the paintbrush. You come down here. That normally would look, if I hit G, you can see that's how it would look. I click on it, hold, and we have that right there, the T is the shortcut T as in Tom. Same at the top here. If I hit G, the gradient mask normally looks like that. And if I want to do a gradient on the sky, I can drag down. You can see how it's sort of angled. If I want to straighten that, I hold the shift key and I can just take down the sky. So let's do that as well. And then we'll just take that down. Now that should just affect the sky. There we go right there. But you may want to create a different layer, for example. So let's just say edit undo. We'll create a different layer for the sky. All you going to do is click here. We've got layer two. Now we'll just do the sky on a different layer. Let's try that again. I'm just going to drag down. Now I want to hold the shift key, straighten that out. Take the sky down just a touch. Go to exposure. And now you can do any kind of settings you want on these different layers. Anyway, that's how you use the radial gradient tool and the regular gradient tool in Capture 112. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you're new to Capture One or you're thinking of upgrading to Capture One 12, I have a coupon code that will save you 10%. The coupon code is going to be in the description box below this video, and it's AMB Craig. My name, AMB Craig. That will save you 10% on checkout. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Capture One 12 in the comment section below. All right, I'll see you in the next video.